Okay, hi guys, how y'all doing? Yes, I'm back with another story, a scary story, yes. From Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark is by Alvin Schwartz and the illustration is by Stephen Gamble. All right, so this story I'm going to tell y'all today is called High Beam. Let's see? Let's see. It's called High Beams and this story has to do with a, a young girl. She was in like in her senior year in high school, and um, she lived about eight miles away from high school. So she used to drive back and forth, you know, from school in a car or whatever. And um, this one night she went to a basketball game that they had at the school. So she drove on to the school, and after the game was over, she was leaving. When she was leaving the parking lot, she um started her engine and she went to pull out the parking lot and she noticed a red truck pulled out the parking lot also behind her. So she's driving and driving and whatever and then the you know, the red truck is still behind her and whatever. And then a few minutes later he turns on his high beams and blasts them like light all through her car and she like, uh, you know, she was like, Oh, well maybe um he um, you know, she was trying to figure out, well, why is he doing this? What is up with these high beams? So she started driving a little bit faster, you know. And then he started driving faster. And she was like, oh. Uh. And so then she said, okay, well, let me go around this car. And let me see if he follows me around this car. So she went around the car and he follows her around the car. Right? And so she's like, oh. So then he turns his own high beams off. And she stayed driving, you know. And then he turns his high beams on again. And she like, uh. And she's driving and driving, and then he, and then he turned his high beams off. And they started driving and driving. She's like, what's up with him? What's going on? You know, she's trying to figure out why he keeps turning these high beams on, and is he following her, you know? She started to get real nervous, so she said, yeah, you know. Then next thing you know, the high beams come on again for a while, and then she's like, oh. And it's, and it's really making her uneasy, you know, like, what do he want? What do he want? You know, and then he turns the high beams off again, and she's driving and driving. And she said, you know, I'm going to take this back road right here. Not that many people take this road. You know, it's a back road, and um, I'm going to turn down there just so I can get out his way. Maybe he, he want me to get out his way. You know what I'm saying? So she turns down the back road and whatever to get out his way and whatever. And lo and behold, he turns down the back road also. And she like, oh my goodness. So then she starts speeding up and he starts speeding up and she's driving real fast and he's driving real fast and he turns his high beams on again. And she like, oh my goodness. And she like, what's wrong? What's wrong with this guy? And he just, and then he got the high beams in, then he'll turn them off and then he'll turn them back on again. And she's like, well, what do he want? What is going on with this guy? Why does he keep putting these high beams on me? And she's nervous. Her heart beams, she's sweating. She's so afraid. And so she's just driving and driving and driving and whatever. Then he turns his high beams off. Then he turns them back on again. And she's like, oh. And then she just drives and she's driving and whatever. And then she sees her parking lot. She's like, oh, my goodness. So she pulls into her driveway. And then the guy pulls into the driveway also. And she gets out the car. She's running to the house. And she yells to her father, call the police. Call the police. So she runs, so she, the, the police finally comes, right, and he's out there and whatever, and he, you know, he actually pulled, came out the car with a gun, yes, and whatever, so then the police pulls up, and um, the police about to arrest him, he's like, no, 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 you don't want me, you don't want me, you want the guy, the guy, it's a guy sitting in the back of her car, in the back of her, her back seat, crushed behind her seat, you know, he's ducking behind there, hiding, you want him, and he has a knife in his hand. And she, they was like, what? They go to her car, and lo and behold, it was a guy sitting in her car with a knife in his hand. But she said every time he seen the guy coming up to try to overpower her, he turned the high beams on. So he would sit back down thinking it's maybe somebody seen him or, you know what I'm saying, so, it, you know, that startled him so he could go back down. He said, so that's why I kept turning my high beams on. He was like, yes. He was like, that guy was back there with a knife and he was trying to hurt you. He said, and I couldn't um, call the police on anything. I didn't want to leave and, and get the police, so I just followed you till you was home, and, and that's it. I'm going to get him then, you know. And Isn't that a good story? Yes. That was so exciting. I said, wow, that is good. That's a good story. Because she thought he was following him, try, trying to hurt her the whole time, but the whole time he was protecting her. Yes, yes. The guy was sitting behind her seat, just crouched down behind her driver's seat. And every time he got up with the knife to, to, to hurt her or overpower her, he had to turn flash the high beams on so he'll, like, duck back down because he didn't want anyone to see him. Yeah.
That was a pretty good story, right? It's called high beams. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed telling it, and I would like to say um, thank you everyone for subscribing and liking my channel, and love you.